The pursuit of achievement must be somehow balanced with the suppression of one's ego. But is this possible? It appears almost a paradox of polarity, but as the Cabellion would reference, there are no true paradoxes, only like items of a varying degree. And so we strive to succeed, bolstered and motivated by the very ego that seeks to supplant the results themselves with the pride of the achievement. To find non-attachment in the outcome with a heart full of joy is the true goal. The nature of our existence, our duality of ego and eternal self, as described in texts like the Bhagavad Gita, presents infinite opportunities to work toward that balance. Strive and work for great results. Work with non-attachment to the fruits of our own labor. Not just in work, though. In every simple day, the ego appears, greedy to receive the accolades for that which we accomplish, constantly jockeying for position among the other egos nearby. How foolish we allow ourselves to entertain the idea that a system of rating, a simple linear calculation, could possibly be used to determine qualities, goodness of egos relative to each other, of an attribute that exists in a dimension beyond the strictly mathematical. Seek to do and to do it well, for the sake of the action itself and not the reward it brings our ego.